Ah, the wah, oh, that, that thing. Um, I think that was something that Suze sang just when we were messing around with it, just, you know, messing around in the bedroom kind of thing. Just had the little band that we used to do all these, we always did bedroom, bedroom or lounge room practices, you know, just, just banging through ideas and all that sort of stuff. Frank used to have this drum kit that would fit in the one drum. It was like a, a floor tom was the kick drum. Everything else just had this thing. You just set it up in the corner and we just, just, just you know, bang through some stuff. Um, that just came from that. Yeah. That was written or, yeah, it came up, I came up with that on the morning of the recording of that song. We'd, pre, we'd gone through pre-production and rehearsed it and we'd figure out, we pretty much knew what we what we were going to do after the bit, but we didn't know where it was going to go before then. And um, I just bought this uh, Gibson Firebird and I was sitting in, in my room, it was on, on the bed, I think I slept with it that night, and um, just picked it up and just was like, okay, we're in A, kind of going to need something that's going to introduce that thing. And I just started messing with that little idea and then went in that day and banged it down. Through, uh, used an ovation through a JCM 800 Marshall. Um, the first night of the Van Halen tour, we were sound checking and everyone was bristling. The, the energy was crazy. It was the, Al, the Baby Animals album had gone number one that day in Australia. We were overseas. It was the, it was the 26th of January 1992. And we were sound checking. Um, it was a little overwhelming. I mean, we'd done a couple of big tours before, before then, but this thing was like something really big. And we're playing early warning and I looked out and saw Eddie and Alex Van Halen sitting in the front row of the thing. And it, yeah, it, it flipped me out a little bit. I kind of turned my back and pretended there was something wrong with my amp. I thought, oh man, that's him, you know, my hero. And we got to become really good friends. We hang out. We did like 60 plus gigs with them on that run. It was a whole lot of fun. Yeah, they were all, all amazing gigs. We got really well looked after. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're having a bit of a break. We've still we've been writing and recording and things. Um, there's still sort of recordings on the, on the boil. Hopefully release something later on in the year and then tour again early next year, going out on another Red Hot Summer run.